9.45 on this Saturday morning. Time to imagine it with Jamie Pafford, the extreme scientist for the Imagination Station. I get this assignment every year because, uh, you know, I'm a hearty eater well, when it comes well to Thanksgiving. Well, good, because then you are prepped and ready to go for the holidays, right? right? I don't know. I usually try to work up, uh, you know, get into the... Slow, Expansion. slow, exactly. Right. Slow and steady <laughs> wins the race. So what we have here is we're going to talk a little bit about acid-base chemistry, okay? okay? So right now what we have is just a beaker and it was full of water. I actually added something called universal indicator. And what that does is it allows us to see if an acid or a base is present depending upon the liquid that we put in there. So we can tell that the water that we use, just mm -hmm. tap water, is more alkaline, it's more basic because we have that nice blue coloring to it. Looks good. But I actually have brought blue. some. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. <laughs> I've actually brought some hydrochloric acid with right. us. So as we start adding drops to it, we'll hopefully start to see some changes. So we went to a nice green, so we're about neutral now. We'll add a little bit more. We're at yellow. Got a flash of red in there, and as we get going, hopefully we'll get that nice bright red color. And that means heartburn. It does. It means warning, no good. And usually about this time, if we're not feeling well, we reach for an antacid. Now the one that we're going to use today is actually milk of magnesia. Mm -hmm. Now I can't imagine, but this is an adult dosage. That, well, you know what, I probably need two of these. <laughs> I just, I don't even know how you could do that. But right. nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and dump it in there and see what okay. happens. So we were very acidic. And as you dump it in there, you can kind of see that we went from that yellow, we're back to blue, so we're now basic again, okay? So we've kind of leveled out, we're happy again. It's curdling a little too. It is, and now this is where I think the really cool chemistry comes into play. So you actually have some hydrochloric acid over there, and you're gonna go ahead and add, you can kind of see it's like a purpley color right now, yeah. kind of like a violet. Go ahead and just squeeze it on in there. Oh, go, wow. just, just do the it. The whole thing, yeah. yeah. You can see it from the top. Okay, so it went pink, yellow. Now do it one more time. This reminds me of some sort of candy. Yeah, it's actually kind of pretty, right? Yeah. So what's happening is the milk of magnesia is, it has magnesium hydroxide in it. And as you're doing that, it has a very low solubility in water, but the, hy the hydrochloric acid that you're using increases its solubility and allows that magnesium to dissolve again. So you kind of have that buffer where it's going back and forth and back and forth. So once you drink the white stuff, you could just eat whatever. Yeah, it kind of has like, well, you don't have to keep taking it and taking it, right? Right. Now let's go ahead and why don't you take your beaker and just toss it yeah, on in there because it's starting to take a little bit slower going back and forth. Oh, and it transitioned us all the way back again. So I have some over here, so no fear. I'll pour that guy in there. And as we go through, we're going to see it get really red and we're starting to clear up, okay? So the more acid that we would put in there, it would just become more clear. And that is just telling us that we have actually kind of exhausted all of that magnesium it's hydroxide. It's all done, sure. Yeah, but we're still golden. We got that nice, we're kind of green, we're at neutral. Back to normal. Yeah. And this is when the tryptophan sets in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, that's a, that's a good lesson for this upcoming week for those of you who uh, enjoy the festivities on Thanksgiving. But if you'd like to head on down to the Imagination Station, Station. They're open as well. No turkey this week? Are you going to do anything? Flash fry? You a flamethrower or turkey? We actually yeah. do start tabletop science on Tuesday. There so. you go. All right. It's at One Discovery Way, and today they are already open tabletop science. There you go for the Thanksgiving holiday. Learn all the tips of doing science at the table at the Imagination Station, Toledo.org. Thanks very much, Jamie. We always appreciate it. That is this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it now over to the boys with sports.